NIPT, or Non-Invasive Prenatal Testing, was introduced by the Verify Test in March of 2012. What NIPT does is identifies cell-free DNA from the mother's circulation and allows the determination of specific chromosomes, particularly the chromosome number 21, 18, and 13, in addition to uh, sex chromosomes. In so doing, we're able to identify trisomy 21, or Down syndrome, and other significant chromosomal abnormalities such as trisomy 18, 13, and sex chromosome aneuploidies, or abnormalities of the sex chromosomes. What NIPT does is not only identifies these reliably in the maternal circulation, it avoids invasive testing. It dramatically reduces the number of invasive tests that have been done and the subsequent loss of pregnancies that can go along with invasive testing. NIPT was first introduced in a high-risk patient. A number of clinical studies were done, publications were reported, and the societies such as the American College of OBGYN, the American uh, um, College of Medical Genetics, all have put out statements that say high-risk patients should be offered uh, non-invasive prenatal testing prior to offering invasive testing. NIPT today offers us the opportunity to have a lower false positive rate and a higher sensitivity rate than any of the other screenings that are available to us. And the true positive rate, the sensitivity, is much better in these tests than the, any of the other screening tests that have been introduced or have been used today. One of the concerns about non-invasive prenatal testing, or all testing for that matter, is is the test reliable and is there a failure rate? The CARE study showed that the test failure rate is extremely low, less than 1%. Further, some studies have shown that in patients where there are test failures, there's a higher incidence of abnormalities, higher incidence of chromosomal abnormalities. The CARE study did not demonstrate that. It showed that there's a lower failure rate, and in fact, in those that failed, they did not have a higher incidence of chromosomal abnormalities. Traditional screens in the first and second trimester have a three to 5% false positive rate. With NIPT, the Verify test, we're talking about 0.2%, very small incidence of screen positive test. So the chance of that happening is extremely small because the positive predictive value of that abnormal test is very good. It's cost effective and it's reliable. I think the data are quite clear. The CARE study shows it's a reliable test. It's an efficient test. It's a sensitive test. It has very high positive predictive values. 